With everybody working from home, I've been getting the same question over and over again the past few weeks. And that is for folks who are new to IT and cybersecurity, they wanna go get the most impactful cert that they can right off the bat that's gonna be the best for their career. Which one should they go after? So I thought it was a good question. It's worth a, having a conversation about break out of the office from upstairs. I'm gonna go get something to drink in the kitchen. Come with me, we'll have a little conversation and see if we can get you on the right path. Hey everybody, what's good? What's going on? JB here. I got my whiskey. I think we're ready to start talking about the right certifications for people who are starting down their IT paths. As always, if you end up liking the video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Don't miss out on any new content. So let's just hop into this. Um, it's a really good question, and there's a few different answers depending on a few different types of scenarios. Um, obviously, people who, who ask this question the most are people who are new and don't necessarily have the work experience uh, that comes along with taking the, the higher level certifications and things like that. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say, we're not even gonna be talking about MCSA or CCNA or anything like that. If that's a goal for you and you wanna go after that, that, that is fantastic. But if we're talking about what certification is going to give you the best foundational information that's going to help you in your IT and cyber career, independent of what type of specialty you end up going into, then that I think is really where this conversation is going to go. So there's really two answers here. There's going to be my general answer, and then there's one that's dependent on a few different uh, scenarios where the answer is really going to differ. So. Generally speaking, whenever people ask me this question, my default answer is the Network Plus certification is really going to give you the best foundational layer of information that is going to help you no matter what area of information technology or cybersecurity that you end up getting into. And the reason for that is because no matter what you do, whether you end up wanting to be a cybersecurity analyst or you want to be a systems engineer focused on Linux deployments or a SAN engineer or a network engineer, everything in all of those environments relies on and is built upon the network. And so in order to become good at any of those specialties that you're going to get into, you really need to have a foundational layer of information of how everything works. Now, you might say, well, I want to be a software developer, so I, why should I even care about the network layer? I'm just going to learn whatever coding languages I'm going to learn, and that's going to be what I'm going to do, so eh, I probably don't need to know that stuff. But at the same time, you're going to be writing applications that are going to reside on the network, and it probably is going to make you have a better appreciation for the steps and things that you need to bake into an application through the development process when it comes to things such as ports and protocols, right? What are the best ways to offer up your service and secure your service when it's residing on a network? Now, you're gonna be working in concert with other people to do those things, but having an understanding of TCP and UDP and what the differences are between that, what are the different types of devices that reside on a network and how applications interact with those and have dependency on those, or even things like IT operations and understanding what that tempo is and the types of things that people run into all the time, those are gonna be things that are gonna be useful for you to understand independent of whatever specialty you end up going into, whether it's in IT or cybersecurity. Now, that was a mouthful, so, if you did happen to go get a whiskey to drink along with me, cheers, let's take a little, little. Delicious, love Caribbean cask whiskey. If you're looking for something new to get, if you can find Caribbean cask whiskey, you're gonna be all right. So 
another reason for why it's important for people who are not necessarily becoming network engineers, but going down these other paths, and especially network engineers as well, you're going down these different paths of specialties within IT and cybersecurity. What you really want to do is build up enough of a foundational knowledge base about a lot of different things within IT and cybersecurity, so that way that you can be proficient in your job, right? Proficiency is the first thing that we're gonna aim for. You become proficient, you're really good at something. You become efficient after your proficiency, you're able to do something and do it a lot quicker, do it a lot more optimally. At that point, you're really starting to climb up the ladder within your organization within whatever uh, department or specialty you, you're in. When you add those two things together, what you end up doing is you end up having a mastery of whatever the specialty is that you're in. And to me, the information that is in the Network Plus certification really provides that baseline level of information that's gonna help you reach that proficiency independent upon whatever type of job that you're doing. Now, I'll talk about a few of the other certifications. So A+, which is really gonna be dealing with hardware installation uh, for computers. There's a lot of good information in that, um, but it's nothing that a employer is really all that uh, interested or excited about if a, an employee brings that certification to the table. So if it's something that interests you, go ahead and do it, but don't do it expecting that that's gonna be something that's really going to establish a solid baseline of information or help you um, get a specific type of position, especially if it's in anything outside of desktop support. The Security Plus certification is another awesome certification. It's a very good baseline cybersecurity certification. Uh, it has actually a lot of knowledge overlap with the Network Plus. So uh, in my experience, I got my Network Plus first and then went and got my Security Plus. It was very easy to transition between the knowledge base from one to the other. Uh, it's a very, very good cert. Again, I think that there's a larger amount of applicable information that's gonna build a better baseline for you with the Network Plus. So once you knock that Network Plus out, go knock that Security Plus out. It's not gonna be that much harder. It's gonna be similar information, and then it's gonna have additional benefits for you, which I'm gonna cover here a little bit later. So there's a few other baseline certifications that folks sometimes ask about, your certified ethical hacker, your CCNA, your MCSA, all those types of things. Those are very niche or niche, depending on how you wanna pronounce that. And they're great certifications, or they can be great certifications, depending upon where your path is going. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend any of those for somebody who's starting right off the bat and is really trying to build up their uh, baseline level of information that's gonna help them in their beginning of their IT uh, or cybersecurity journey. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the few caveats that I had. And again, I think that this might be a relatively good time to schedule another sit. All right, so the caveats when it comes to deciding which certification you wanna go with, and there's three main ones that I wanna talk about. So the first is, if you are looking to get into the government or especially the DOD space, there are certain requirements that contractors need to meet if you're going to be on a IT or cybersecurity contract. And that is called the 8570 certification requirements. And I will put up uh, a little chart somewhere, maybe over here somewhere, hopefully, and definitely put uh, a link down below uh, for you to read up on this. But in essence, what it's gonna do is it's gonna force your hand that in order for you to work on a uh, Department of Defense uh, IT system, you need to have some baseline level amount of cybersecurity training. And the best and easiest way to go about doing that, you could get the Certified Ethical Hacker certification, but I'm not gonna say that. What you really wanna do is you wanna go get that Security Plus certification. That's gonna be a very uh, good and useful certification to go with. And like I said, there's a lot of information overlap there between the Sec Plus and the Network Plus. So if your hand is being forced 
and you're trying to get in on a DOD contract and you need to get that certification, go get that SEC plus. And then as soon as you get that, then you can turn around, flip it the opposite way of how I was talking about in general, where I would go network plus and then security plus, go security plus first and then go get your network plus. Scenario number two is dealing with whatever type of additional job requirements need to be met in order for you to get the position that you really wanna go after. So like I said, in general, Network Plus is a great place to start. But let's say that the job that's being offered to you or the job that you wanna go after is requiring something else. I think it's reasonable for you to switch it up and go after that certification that's gonna end up putting you in the role that you're trying to fit into. Um, obviously, you have to take some things into account there. I mean, if, if you're applying for a role and you're brand new to IT and cybersecurity, and you're looking at a position that's telling you that you need to have a CCMP, that's probably not the role that you should be applying for, right? Or it's telling you you need a MCS, MCSE, right? Again, probably not the role that you're gonna be wanting to go for right off the bat. Um, so within reason, if there is some other level of certification, especially if it's a, a foundational certification, then do what you have to do to get yourself in the position so that you can start to be working down that path and pick up additional knowledge once you have the ability to start uh, working on other certifications or other types of education. All right, so scenario number three. This is one that sometimes folks don't give enough uh, credence to. They don't put enough importance on it. They just, hey, for you to end up starting in IT and you wanna make six figures, then you need to do this, 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 and this. And you, you just follow that and you're gonna be okay. Well, at the same time, there is a flip side to that. And that is you really do wanna make sure that you are going after the things that are interesting to you, what you're passionate about. Now, when I was speaking in generalities before about going after the Network Plus, that was to help build a baseline of information for you to then go after your specialty on top of that, right? Um, the other thing to keep in mind though when you're doing all of this is you do want to not lose track of your specific goals and the things that end up interesting you. Now, once you start off down this journey, the things that interest you now are great and that's gonna kind of get those, uh, those gears turning, but they're gonna lead to other things as well. And so as you go over the course of your career, one door is gonna open into another. You're gonna find other things that interest you and pique your interest. Those things are gonna evolve over time. So you just wanna make sure that you are paying attention to that. You are doing things and going after things that really do align with y your own goals and are things that really interest you. You don't wanna take somebody else's path just to be successful in your career if it's something that A, you don't like, B is going to burn you out or C, you just have absolutely no interest in whatsoever or it's boring to you. Don't do that. You want to look at things somewhat holistically. You want to be strategic, but at the same time, you want to enjoy what it is that you're doing. So that's kind of my perspective on which certifications uh, are the best to go after starting off for folks that are new into the industry. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, drop, drop them down below, hit me up on Twitter. You know, I, I really enjoy kind of the back and forth and, and helping people find their passion. I found my passion. That's why I'm here making videos like this and doing the work that I do. Um, you know, starting off in networking and getting into cybersecurity and architecture and, you know, all the way up to the point of starting my own consulting company. So these are all things that I'm very passionate about. I want to instill some type of passion in you and I want to help you end up reaching your goals in the IT and cybersecurity fields. So as always, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Be safe. Take care of your friends, your family, your community. We're all in this together. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.